Hey guys, I'm Dr. Chamberlain and we're going to talk about trees and actually a particular type of tree that this leaf belongs to. Does anyone know what type of leaf this is? It's a maple leaf and I really love maple trees for a lot of different reasons but one thing that's really cool about maple trees is that we can get maple syrup from maple trees and as a class we're going to tap maple trees and get maple syrup from the trees but it's a pretty big process so I'm gonna need you guys to help me out okay other than a cool maple leaf that's so cool looking that Canada put it on its flag and maple syrup there's another really cool thing about maple trees and that's their seed does anyone know what a maple seed looks like the maple seed I'll give you a hint they're fun to play with probably one of the most fun seeds to play with because they are the helicopters. You know the helicopter you throw up there and they spin? A helicopter is a maple seed. So whenever you see these on a tree, guess what type of tree you're looking at? You're looking at a maple tree because they're the trees with helicopters on them. And I think that's really cool. So seeds come from flowers. Have you ever seen flowers on a maple tree? Most people haven't realized that they have because they aren't bright colorful flowers like we normally think of flowers but they're really um, small and they're green and they're by the leaves. They're hard to see. These little guys are flowers and they come out in late spring. So the flowers get pollinated and then the helicopters grow in clusters where the flowers were. The flowers make seeds and the seeds fall into the ground and they start to grow into a little into a little sapling and you can even see here this still looks like the helicopter some right and it splits into a sapling and the sapling grows into a big tree so that's the way i tell say it goes but it's interesting my son says something different he's like no 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 dad it starts with a seed and then it goes to a sapling and then a tree and the tree makes the flower but then his sister says, no, 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 you're wrong. It starts with a sapling that grows into a tree, which makes a flower, and the flower makes a seed. But my wife says, no, 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 no. We have a tree that makes a flower that has a seed that grows into a sapling. So who's right? You were kind of all right. It just keeps going around and around in a big circle. I think it's really interesting. It's a big circle where it just keeps going round and round making more trees. All living things need energy in order to grow. And plants and animals get energy from different places. Animals, we get our energy from what we eat. The food we eat gives us energy and that lets us grow. Plants, they don't eat food, right? Where do they get their energy from? Well, they get their energy from the sun And then they get their energy from combining sun with water and with carbon dioxide, which they breathe in, and they make energy from it. And then they save that energy for later, and they save the energy as sugar. Animals store energy also, but we don't store energy as sugar. We store it as something else. Do you know what we store energy as? I'll give you a hint. My belly has a lot of it. Yeah, we store energy as fat, so when we eat stuff, we actually turn it into fat to store it for later in case we need it for later. Why would trees need to store their sugar energy for later? So the energy that trees make, they make it in their leaves. Their leaves are what absorbs the sunlight and turns it into energy. So in the summertime, they have the sunlight hitting their leaves and then they start making energy and then they can grow a lot in the summertime. But what happens in the fall? Yeah, the leaves fall off the trees in the fall and then the winter there's no leaves on the tree. So then when spring comes, the sun's out more, the trees want to grow, but they need their leaves to make energy to grow. So where do they get the energy to grow leaves? Well, they store it. They store the sugar energy way down in their roots and then when the winter is coming to an end, it brings up that sugar up into the trees and it uses the energy to grow leaves, and then the leaves can use the sunlight to even make even more energy. But here's the thing, 
if they just made sugar like sugar crystals like we normally eat, it can't move very well, right? It doesn't flow and stuff. So what, is it, what do trees do? They combine sugar and water to make sap, and then they can send the sap down into the roots and they can send the sap back up. So sap is a combination of sugar and water. So here's a question. Are maple trees the only trees with sap? Well, if you've ever climbed in a pine tree, like what, what happened? You got all sticky, right? You got the sticky sap all over you. So we know pine trees have it. So, so all trees have some sort of sap. It's just that if you ever tasted pine tree sap, and I have, it doesn't taste very good. It's really, really bitter. But maple trees, it doesn't taste bitter. It tastes really sweet. And so that's why we turn that into syrup. But here's the thing is they put a lot of water in so there's a little bit of sugar and a lot of water. So if we taste the sap straight out of a maple tree, it tastes mostly like water. So what we have to do is we have to get all that sap out of the tree. And then once we have the sap out of the tree, we need to get rid of the water. And I'll have another video to talk about how I get rid of the water. So then we can make it so there's little water and a whole bunch of sugar so it tastes really good. So how are we gonna tap the trees? All right, what we do is we look for a tree that's big enough in size, and we want a tree that's at least about a foot big or bigger. So this is bigger than a foot, and we'll drill a hole in it, and then we take this. Does anyone know what this is called? Some people call it a tap, or the fancy word for it is a spile. So we'll drill a hole in the tree, we'll put the spile in, angle down just a little bit, and then it'll drip out, the sap will drip out, and we can have a jug we put over it to collect the sap. I'm excited about this and we're going to be tapping trees together as a class and we'll talk some more later. All right, we'll see ya.